the uh, the Bulldog version of almost. Um, this is the 1960s Stratford taxi with its upgrades. Uh, back in the early 2000s, there were concerns that the um, basically the engine wasn't up to it and the drivetrain weren't up to uh, modern uh, tanks and keeping up and, and supporting modern British tanks. So an armour. And basically they looked at uh, upgrading them and producing enough spares. There weren't enough spares in these Walker II. So it underwent a program, um, had a Cummins engine, diesel engine fitted, and also um, um, Anderson transmission and tweaked the Renault quite a bit with it. What also happened was that basically the Walker II in Iran occurred, and there was an urgent operation requirement in 2006 to have these sent out there because the Snaps Land Rovers weren't capable of doing patrolling. They didn't have enough protection. So what they did was they upgraded the protection on them. And what you get is you've really got Snaps Armour on them. And if you look on there, there's the white and green patches on there. That's ERA, Explosive Reactive Armour, that's put on there. Below that, on the whole sides as well, is Passive Armour to provide more protection, especially for the um, road wheels, etc. In terms of its capability of um, um, defensive firepower, it's got a Celex Enforcer um, put on the top there. That's a remote controlled weapon station, so you don't have to expose anybody. That can take a 7.62 Jimmy, can take a 50 cal, and a 40 mil GMPG uh, grenade. So 
you still go through the same system of mobility kill, in other words, you can disable the vehicle, or do you say it's a K kill from knocking one out completely? Yes, yeah, so we have K kill, which is the legal support, we have F kill, So uh, you hear on radio a lot about I've been at the or I've had killed the speed, which is the same as a symbol. And the idea there, of course, is even whatever your weapon systems, if you can disable a tank, back to what we talked about earlier today, um, whatever technology, it's down to the crew training and their ability to use that technology to the best of the ability. Or if you've got an enemy, enemy coming towards you, whatever it is, if you can stop that vehicle, not as well trained, not as well motivated. We've seen that in Ukraine all the time at the moment. That's my idea of giving any excuse for the tank crew to abandon their tank um, because you could do that better. That's the important thing. Uh, we have a saying now called spike attack. So, especially Charlie 2 is going to put up a redundancy in there. We can take the sights out, there's a back of the tank to kick in. If the fight control system gets taken out, then the fight control system will kick in. Uh, but guess what? The point where we lose all power, everything's going to turn around. It's still fine no matter what. Right, and that's going to be an important thing in warfare, certainly for the future with technologies that make it. So Challenger 2 is due for its upgrade, it's going to become Challenger 3.
passenger carrying a number of bridges, the number 10 and the number 12 bridge. The number 10 bridge has a gap across the peak road of 26 metres and will be launched in under two minutes. Point open and begin to march across the friendly forces, starting with the reconnaissance force. 